Hi everyone, it's meteorologist Joe Chaffee. We're going to take a look at what's going on uh, weather-wise with regards to uh, Hurricane Matthew. I want to just show you, first off, we've got uh, the uh, radar, latest radar view. One of the things that's happening is, as the storm moves further north, and it is weakening very slowly because the eye of the hurricane, plainly visible on uh, the radar, is actually opened a little bit on the southern side. Now this this is some this is something that usually happens as these storms get further north, especially this time of year. They uh, very very slowly start to lose pure tropical characteristics, and they very very slowly start to look like uh, a little bit more like wintertime storms. Now I'm not suggesting at all that this is post tropical by any means. It's, it is a, it is a tropical system, no doubt. But what happens is the wind field and the rain field winds up shifting and expanding on the west side. So now we're seeing heavier rains, uh, concentrated areas of heavier rains in northeastern Florida getting further and further west. Uh, the strongest winds are occurring now from uh, the Palm Coast on up through St. Augustine and over, toward Jack over towards Jacksonville. But you can see there's heavy rains that have moved in uh, even uh, up into uh, you know coastal Georgia, South Carolina. Uh, and in fact, some of the tidal surges up in the South Carolina have has, have been extensive, uh, with the, even though the hurricane is still uh, m uh, many hours away from getting up to that latitude. So um, this is going to be very interesting in the uh, coming tide cycles for the Georgia and South Carolina coast as far as uh, the tidal situation is concerned. Uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, this is the visible, the um, the water vapor satellite imagery, and and you can see there's still a pretty good concentrated core. Most of it still remains offshore. The eye has yet to actually penetrate land. The the eye wall has grazed uh, the land at, from um, certain points, uh, but uh, but as far as the whole eye coming ashore, that has yet to happen, uh, and and because of that. Um, we haven't got, the, the strongest winds still remain out over the ocean, but still there have been some pretty good wind gusts. I saw from St. Augustine about an hour ago, they actually did have a sustained wind to hurricane force and a gust to 75, um, but so 65 knots gusting to 75 knots. So that would be 75 miles, miles an hour gusting to 85. And we're seeing uh, a gust at Jacksonville now uh, of uh, 75 knots and sustained winds of 45 to 50 knots. So the strongest winds seem to be uh, from St. Augustine northward. And then if you look also, we're getting some strong wind gusts inland, like, like at uh, Green Cove Springs gusting to 54. Uh, we've got some gusts into between 40 and 50 miles an hour concentrated just west of Jacksonville. Uh, gusts uh, up to uh, 50 miles an hour near the Georgia border. We move up into South Carolina, we're getting some gusts also into the you know, into the 40s. These are knots now, not miles an hour. Um, 44 knots, 37 knots, 28 knots, 30 knots. So even the winds here, uh, as we move up through coastal Georgia and South Carolina, beginning to pick up. And we're going to watch these winds carefully because uh, weather models uh, do bring this system fairly close to uh, Charleston, uh, to the South Carolina coast. I'm, I'm going to show you on the GFS run. Let me just pull it up here. Just bear with me. And we'll back it up to the beginning. And you can see it here uh, as we move it along. This is uh, this evening at, at 8 o'clock. This is at uh, 2 a.m., 8 a.m. Saturday. Right about there, it gets very, very close to you know Charleston, Myr Myrtle Beach, kind of skims the, Carol the South Carolina coast in the same way it skimmed the Florida coast. And then from there, it turns east. <clears throat> now, warnings are up all the way up to the North Carolina-Virginia border. Hurricane warnings extend all the way up the coast to, the, to that particular point. And notice there's quite a bit of heavy rain that's produced during the overnight and into the day tomorrow across South and North Carolina. Uh, and then as we move into Sunday, uh, the rains are pulling out of North Carolina and then uh, shifting to the east as Matthew once again orchestrates this loop that brings it back down as a weakening tropical storm uh, into the Bahamas. It, it actually goes down almost into the Florida Straits. Now I'll show you total rainfall and we'll take a look at that. So the uh, GFS model is forecasting uh, rainfall in excess of uh, a foot in some places uh, from coastal 
uh, South Carolina on up into interior North Carolina. I think this area here could get ex very heavy rains, as the GFS indicates, given the track, because they're going to be uh, getting that rain for a long period of time as it's already moved up northward and uh, then it's going to continue into Sunday morning. And, and they don't quite get into uh, the core of the hurricane, but uh, it, it's going to be so loaded with tropical moisture. And when it gets this far north, you know, it, it just it just kind of multiplies upon on itself. So uh, this is certainly a formidable system. We'll uh, give the radar view one more time, and you can take a look at um, the eye there, that opening of the eye wall just a little bit. So that's probably, again, an indication that it might be just a little bit weaker, but the weakening process is going to be exceptionally slow. You're going to lose it at, at, at roughly five mile an hour increments uh, every six hours or so. Uh, maybe even take longer than that. Maybe every six to twelve hours, you'll probably drop about five to ten miles an hour on the wind. So it could still be producing hundred mile an hour winds uh, by the time it gets up even uh, with South Carolina. So you know, keep it tuned right here. We'll bring you all the latest weather information. Uh, the storm chasing team is on the scene from uh, Folly Beach, South Carolina. They've already put up some fantastic videos. Uh, be sure to scroll down the Facebook page and take a look at them. And uh, if you are watching from those areas, uh, please be safe and please heed the advice of uh, local officials.